Oh. 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 Heading fog with the fog dog, straight to the top with the pace drop. Pace too hot, you can't keep up when he heats up and takes the lead. And all you see is Drake University. So it's time to subscribe for the best alive and go stride for stride with the Batman pride. It's Heading fog coming at you with the top dog exclusive. It's Heading fog exclusive. Right, we're down here at the track uh, this evening, a lovely evening in Lavinio, Italy. Uh, we were down here last night and I got absolutely hammered in a session uh, with Jai and Rory. I can't believe how tough that was to be honest. I'm just cooked, I'm cooked honestly, yeah. Way tougher than I expected it to be. And now we're back for Joe Parrot. sorry, <laughs> Jai Parrot, uh, doing an 8x200 session on the track. Uh, he's about 9 nine or ten days out from an 800 in Germany uh, so ten apparently according to our man Hunter on the floor uh, ten days out from an 800 he's run 145.6 um, and hopefully in ten days time he can go a little bit quicker who knows with running uh, you can go up and down and uh, who knows what a run but fingers crossed he's in for a good one uh, eight by 200 tonight I believe is on the agenda with two minutes recovery uh, here he is Inspirational. Uh, so eight by two hundred, two minutes recovery, and the plan. Apparently, he's trying to run them all in twenty-two five. So <laughs> no, like twenty-four, twenty-five. So two minutes recovery. We're going to be watching him. We're going to be very strict with that recovery, and because uh, his coach is still in Australia, we're going to make sure that we, uh, for Coach Liddy, we're going to be on the stopwatch and making sure he's not uh, bludging and taking uh, too much more recovery than he's allowed. So um, should be good. Can't wait to see him suffer after I absolutely got smashed last night. Uh, it's a bit of a suffer fest up here on the mountain, but great fun. So, should be good. 8x200. Enjoy it. All right, Jai Parrot down at the track tonight. 8x200 on the agenda. Uh, 10 days out from a race. How are we feeling? I'm feeling quite nervous. Um, this stuff's pretty tough at altitude. Once you sort of get lactic, it kind of doesn't go away and you kind of just got to grind through it but um body feels okay it's kind of a little bit sore in certain spots but I got my physio Rory Hunter um <laughs> he thinks he knows what he's doing <laughs> makes it worse <laughs> makes it worse um but nah I'm feeling feeling pretty good I just want to get through it I've got another tough session on Tuesday so um yeah, just got to make sure I don't go too crazy at the start. That's, I tend to do that a lot. And nice. my coach doesn't like it, so that's it. Sick. And, uh, yeah, thanks, bro. This one's for you, Liz. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, how's the adjustment to altitude training been going? Um, Feeling all right? Or a bit tired or what? Yeah, it's very different. I've had one taste of altitude before in Parisha with these boys. Um, yeah, you've been sleeping 16 hours a day. You? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do sleep a lot more. You, you get naps in. Um, but, yeah, it can be kind of tough to sleep. It's it's tough to recover. Um, you're just walking around. If you go up a little hill, you kind of feel the... You don't feel the burn, but your, your heart rate goes up and it's Pulse. your breathing. Yeah, your breathing gets heavy. But, um, yeah, I had a pretty decent session. 1500 sort of style session a few days ago. And... Struggled in an aerobic one uh, two days ago, but hopefully this will turn, turn the page and be better. 
Lovely. Yeah. Lovely. Actually, final pre-sesh thoughts. Uh, um, I don't know yet. I got a few run-throughs to do in these, and hopefully, I feel a bit better. But I'm just feeling kind of heavy and jolty. I guess is the word. Jolty. Yeah, a little bit jolty. Just mechanical. Yeah. Not not, not too smooth, but okay. we'll see. I think once I get a few run-throughs done, it'll it'll sort itself out. Plan is definitely eight by two hundred, two minutes recovery. Yeah, that's the plan. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's the plan. Uh, I think if it, if it, yeah, it's meant to be fairly tough. Uh, I've had sort of the sniffles and stuff like that for a few days. So, Liddy said to me, just um, make sure it's not too much of a killer. But if it gets too tough, I, I'll um, probably add fifteen seconds to recovery or something like that. Only near the end. Um, but yeah, same thing I've said before. I just got to make sure I don't go out too hard. That's that's the dumbest thing I could do. That's the dumbest thing I could do. Two down, get into it. Yeah. How are we feeling? I breathe. Oh, it's, I did exactly what I wasn't supposed to do. <laughs> Went too fast. But just gotta drop the times back down. Back up, sorry. Um, One at a time. Yeah, I just, if I can get to six, then I'll, I'll be fine. So I think these two, I just wanna try and just take it back a step. Nice. One more baby, let's get it. Surviving. No. Oh. 25 seconds of pain to go. You can do it. Oh, very impressive. The man's in some shape. Smoothest 24s I've ever seen. Not so smooth now. <laughs> Those squats, uh, iron out the kinks. Nice. Mm. Right, Mr. Parrot, uh, eight by two hundred down. Yeah. Session done. How was it? It was very tough. 
Um, I said before the session, the one thing I didn't want to do was go out too firm. Um, and I, to be honest, I didn't actually think I was going out too firm. It was sort of, it felt right. Um, but, you know, the, the difficulty of being up at altitude and not having much air and all that sort of stuff. There's also the benefits of feeling, you know, really fast and that sort of thing when you're in the first few reps, so. And yeah, it's way better than I've ever done it before at sea level, so it's good to know I'm, uh, everything's going well and I'm um, progressing, staying healthy, body feels good, all that stuff. It, I was a bit, yeah, dead on the ground after, at the end of the session, but. Are you all right? That's kind of just the way I end up after this stuff, so. I'm happy to tick it off. Recover now, get a good night's sleep, have a steak with the boys. Um, and yeah, just slowly getting more and more, I guess, mature with training and running, learning more, all that stuff. It's good. On to the next race. On to the next race. That's it. Full start. Full start.